Paul Schmidt and I uh, were having a conversation earlier today, and there's an interesting issue that uh, we probably should uh, give a, a little more emphasis to. And so um, Paul suggested that I uh, converse with you a little bit about it. And it is basically the problem of trade-offs when we are, as, as coastal zone management, coastal policy uh, professionals, we have science, the environment, and the, the kind of uh, sustainable stewardship as one of the big responsibilities that we face, of course. And, and that's something that we're very passionate about and concerned about. On the other hand, we have the uh, economic development, uh, jobs, taxes, um, and basically the commercial interests that are very active along the, uh, the coastlines and the, and the coastal zones of the United States um, also uh, as, as a concern. And so I thought we'd talk a little bit about this uh, issue that um, has come up um, in uh, California, and you may be familiar with it, but let me share it with you here. And that is, um, there is a um, region in California that ha that is, this is the map here that I want to share with you. Um, you can see San Francisco and north of San Francisco is Point Reyes National Seashore. Some of you may have actually been there. And there is a, a place there called uh, Drake's Bay Oyster Farm. That oyster farm has been there for a very long time, and um, it is an important uh, commercial interest. But as the article uh, uh, by Leslie Kaufman that uh, we want to share with you here suggests, um, this is a real problem. Uh, it's a, it seems like a, a perfect marriage of nature and commerce. You know, their boats ferry oysters to shore and pelicans swoop down and seals pop their, their heads out of the water. But um, it has become a flashpoint for a debate uh, over uh, the limits of wilderness and commercial interests, um, and especially within America's national parks. As you know, we have the same issue with logging, we have the same issue with uh, all kinds of different commercial activities that occur uh, within national parks. Um, under the Obama administration, the National Park Service had said that it cannot renew the permit to farm uh, oysters in this uh, tidal estuary, uh, that lease that permit is uh, up, uh, lapses in 2012, because a federal law requires it to return uh, to wilderness and commercial activity should be uh, basically uh, removed. Kevin Lunny, who is the owner of uh, Drake's Bay Oyster Company, says he feels persecuted. Uh, he, he wants legislation that could allow him to continue operations. The, the oyster farm is 70 years old, much older than the park. Um, it's part of the sort of working landscape of the area, and he says it needs to be protected just as much as the, the harbor seals and the eelgrass uh, and other things that uh, are there. He, he and his allies accuse the Park Service uh, offices of issuing faulty scientific reports um, about baby seals and, and, and other problems like that. Of course, as with all of these things, for example, logging, uh, local uh, towns are uh, very divided on it, and so the Point Reyes newspaper has been critical of the Park Service. Uh, other residents and environmental groups uh, say that uh, Mr. Uh, Lenny is just a very smart and savvy businessman who kind of knows what he's doing in trying to... Uh, get the politicians uh, involved in this whole process. Um, there is no easy solution to this in terms of uh, saying who's right and wrong. Uh, obviously, you know, the environment is very important. If you look some of the uh, images here, uh, here we have a, a view of the estuary that is to be uh, protected um, in, this, in this beautiful part of the country. Um, here you have workers sorting oysters and, um, you know, there's uh, some scientific ev evidence of danger to baby seals and flora um, and, and, you know, science and commerce often get into conflict with each other. Um, again, more pictures of um, the oyster farm, 70-year-old oyster farm and the work that goes on there. Um, and here's how the oysters are grown. 
Uh, they're basically grown commercially, you know, on on poles, and they they grow um, in in a way that most of you probably know. Um, there's also a uh, processing facility there where the oysters are kind of uh, cleaned up and processed. Um, a this tidal bay is designated a potential wilderness, and wilderness is the highest level of protection in a national park. So that adds to the tension over how this should be dealt with. Um, well, there's a, a nice picture of you know what what the tools look like that are used in um, setting the oyster uh, poles and gloves and stuff like that. Um, you can see that. Um, it's not terribly intrusive, actually, if you consider, you know, some other industries, oil and, and marinas and other things that are much more intrusive. Um, this is an interesting issue. Um, here's, uh, you know, piles of shucked oyster shells, which are, which are dumped there, little shacks and probably some fuel and other stuff that leaks. Um, Beautiful area. Should it be returned to kind of pristine condition? Um, uh, people come down there, obviously buy a nice bottle of California wine and uh, have some oysters um, by the bay. Um, so this is uh, one of those typical trade-off problems that you and I and every other coastal zone manager has to constantly be struggling with because um, it is um, where the um, rubber hits the road. It is, this is why these things are so difficult. It's because uh, if we want to leave things pr pristine, we basically um, um, sequester them and remove them from uh, commercial use. And that uh, obviously interferes with, uh, with jobs and, and other processes. So uh, you can take a look at that article. It's... Uh, Basically, you can Google it in the New York Times. There's a little bit more information. Um, it's called uh, Debate Flares on Limits of Nature and Commerce in, in Parks. And that's, of course, the bigger issue because it's not just about this particular uh, situation here. It's more generally about uh, national parks and especially marine protected areas uh, in, 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 the, in our case. And that's what we're interested in. All right, I'm um, enjoying uh, reading your postings, and I hope you're enjoying the class. So we'll see you back on the Internet.